Hi guys, I'm sure you've already experienced this filter option in Excel through which you can choose data of your choice and select it. Now, today we are going to talk about advanced filters. In advanced filters, you can set up a criteria of your own choice and then you can select complex data. So with a simple example, I will teach you how to apply an advanced filter to only display records that meet a complex criteria set up by yourself. When you use the advanced filters, you need to enter the criteria on the worksheet and create a criteria above your data set that you have. So let's see how you can use these columns at headers and create your own um, advanced filters. So let's go over. We have the data over here. We want to apply an AND criteria. And over here, AND is that I need to filter the data that has US dollars currency and time period of column one. So I will add some lines above. There you go. I'll copy the criteria. Copy and paste. And remember one thing. There should be at least one row gap between the criteria that you are setting up and the information that is being filtered. So now simply you will go to data, sort and filters and advanced. Click on the advanced. It is asking you for that list range over here. So we will go to the list range, definitely. This is the range that we need to filter. Then I'll go to criteria. So if you remember, we set it up on the top. So ideally it should show only the dollars and voices raised in quarter one. Um, I can also take this to another location. So I'll select this, copy to another location like this. And then I'll press OK. So now I can see that there are invoices with dollars currency in quarter one. So it has filtered for me my AND criteria. Let's move on to the OR criteria now. So the criteria now I've made a little bit more complex. The complexity is that I want to see the dollars and voices and the euro and voices as well. And not only the quarter one, but the quarter two as well. So I will go up. I will copy this. Paste it on the top. And I remember that there should be a gap of at least one row on the top. I will remove the unnecessary information. I will go back again to advanced. I will select again the data. There we go, Hold it up, select the criteria. So again, now it will choose dollars and euros, both in quarter one and quarter two. So rather than going to another location, this time I will filter the same information that we have. I'll press OK. So now I can see the invoices with dollars and euros in quarter one and quarter two as well. So that's how you can see the information that you have set up. Um, you can change the criteria. For example, if I change the criteria to quarter three uh, over here, and uh, let's let's give it another try and see how it works with the quarter three. So it has again chosen the information. I have to go back and select the correct information. Change the criteria by the way, if you remember. Now move this. Okay. So now I'll press OK, and it will show only not the quarter one in which the quarter three as well, and the euros as well, as set up in my criteria. This was the practice of all criteria. Okay, then let's move to the formula over here. So now we'll apply a formula to you know, utilize our advanced filter over here. So what I'll do is I will add some rows over here. Let's make another one, and I will copy the headers. Um, control C. And select again, control C, control V. I'll remove this uh, one row from here. Remember, there should be at least one row gap. Um, what I'll do is I'll remove the values from here and I'll put a formula in column F. So, formula is, is equal to C, value is less than 100k. So, show me all the invoices which are in quarter two US dollars with invoicing value less than 100k. So, this is what I want this. Uh, advanced filters to do for me. Uh, I will again as usual go to the advanced and I will select the data from here as I did previously and again I will put on the criteria. Remember in this criteria range now we'll add F column as well where we have this formula. So formula will also be taken uh, into consideration for this advanced filter range. I will simply press OK. So now you can see it is showing with the invoices which are quarter two 
less than uh, 100k and US dollars. So this is how you can utilize um, formulas over here as well. So that's it for the time being now, folks, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.